We walk by faith and not by sight. No greatest words we hear Of him who spoke and none have spoke But we believe him near We may not touch his hands and side Nor follow where he trod Yet in his promise we rejoice and cry, my Lord and God. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The Lord be with you. Amen. Good morning, everyone. Today, the church celebrates two apostles, St. Simon and Jude. St. Simon and Jude, we don't have a lot of information, but as you know that St. Simon is a zealot, very excited, enthusiastic about his faith, about following Christ, about proclaiming the gospel. St. Jude, as we know, we have St. Jude Hospital, Cancer Hospital. We pray for all the children and the sick people, especially those who have terminal illness, almost an incurable illness in their life. I visited um, Ronnie Collette. He wear that medal of St. Jude for 50 years and he's very sick right now. So just in, uh, remember him in our prayers as well and all our parishioners. My brothers and sisters, let us now prepare ourselves and ask the Lord to help us to live our faith daily like the apostles. Lord have, mercy. Lord, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to life everlasting. Amen. Together we say, glory to God in the highest, Amen. and on earth peace to people of goodwill. We, we praise you. you, we bless you, we adore you, we glorify you, we give you thanks for your great glory, Lord God, Heavenly King, O God, Mighty Father, Lord Jesus Christ, Only Begotten Son, Lord God, Lamb of God, Son of the Father, you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. You take away the sins of the world, receive our prayer. You are seated at the right hand of the Father, have mercy on us. For you alone are the Holy One, you alone are the Lord, you alone are the Most High, Jesus Christ, with the Holy Spirit, in the glory of God the Father. Amen. Let us pray. O God, who by the blessed apostles have brought us to acknowledge your name graciously grant through the intercession of saints Simon and Jude, that the church may constantly grow by increase of the peoples who believe in you. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God forever and ever. Amen. Please be seated to listen to the Word of God. A reading from the letter of St. Paul to the Ephesians. Brothers and sisters, you are no longer strangers or sojourners, but you are fellow citizens with the Holy Ones and members of the household of God, built upon the foundation of the apostles and prophets, with Christ Jesus himself as the capstone. Through him, the whole structure is held together and grows into the temple sacred in the Lord. In him, you also are being built together into a dwelling place of God in the Spirit. The word of the Lord. Responsorial, 
Their message goes out through all the earth. The heavens declare the glory of God, and the firmament proclaims his handiwork. Day pours out the word today, and night to night imparts knowledge. Their message goes out through all the world. Not a word nor a discourse, whose voice is not heard. Through all the earth their voice resounds, and to the ends of the world their message. Their message goes out through all the earth. We praise you, O God. We acclaim you as Lord. The glorious company of apostles praise you. Alleluia, alleluia, alleluia. The Lord be with you. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Luke. Jesus went up to the mountain to pray, and he spent the night in prayer to God. When the day came, he called his disciples to himself, and from them he chose twelve, whom he also named apostles, Simon, whom he named Peter, and his brother Andrew, James, John, Philip, Bartholomew, Matthew, Thomas, James, the son of Alphaeus, Simon, who was called a zealot, and Judas, the son of James, and Judas Iscariot, who became a traitor. The Gospel of the Lord. Every time we celebrate the uh, Feast of the Apostles, as you know, it's just like celebrating our ancestors in faith. They're very close to us. It's like a the big building, a beautiful building, cannot exist strong and beautifully without the foundation. But a lot of times we don't talk about foundation. <laughs> We're talking about oh this beautiful church. Oh, it's a beautiful stained glass window. Oh, it's beautiful decoration. But nobody take a picture of foundation. Foundation is hidden. But without foundation, nothing exists on the surface. And so today is an honor for us to celebrate these two men, the apostles. Even though we don't know about them, but they are apostles, they did something that we need to remember. This morning, if you pray the Liturgy of the Hours, you will repeat three antiphons. And I want to repeat these three antiphons for you because this is the highlights, and I call the promises and the requirement or the instruction of God for the apostles. First, they have to preach, proclaim, the great commandment, and they have to live with that, is love God and love one another as yourself. That is their instruction, and that is their identity and their ministry as the apostles. And I'm asking myself, I'm asking you, how are you doing with that? Because that's who we are too. We have to live our life to proclaim that love, love God, and love one another as ourselves. The second one in the antiphon there is, if you want to follow me, you have to lay your life for your friends. That's the number two of the apostles. They call not to live for themselves, they call not to live 
a beautiful life, a successful life, so that people praise them. He's a millionaire, billionaire. His stock rocket up, raise up, whatever. No, his life, their lives, is for others. Lay down their lives for their friends. That's the apostles, and that's also our mission every day. How we do with this instruction of God. And number three, it's very beautiful. Those apostle call friend of God. If we do the first two, as you know, you are the face of God. You are friends of God. We are not called to be slave of God. We are called to be children and friends of God. What a beautiful relationship! And so today, let us praise God for this man, because of their martyrdom, because of their sacrifices. Of their zeal and zealous proclamation, that we have sitting here, listen to this word again, again and again. Let us pass this commandment, this instruction, our lives for the next and next and next and next generations. Amen. Let us now stand and. Stand on that foundation and give thanks to God and ask God for a few intentions we have today. First, we pray for our church today, especially our Pope, Pope Francis, the new cardinals, bishops, the missionaries, the pastors, those who are in charge of preaching the good news to others, that they themselves also live that good news. Every day of their lives, we pray to the Lord. We pray for our community today, especially as we continue to walk in that walk of Jesus of the apostles, that we testify our faith daily with that great love. We pray to the Lord. We also pray for these days as we prepare for another storm, Storm Zeta. That those already got hit by it or about to uh, be impacted by this storm that protected and continue to move on in their lives, we pray to the Lord. We pray for all the sick, especially those who face death, dying, suffering these days in their life, that they comforted by God. If it's God's will through the intercession of Saint Jude and Simon today, that they will be healed. We pray to the Lord. What else shall we pray today? Lord, hear our prayer. Lord, hear our prayer. Lord, hear our prayer. Lord, hear our prayer. We pray for intention of this mass, all souls in purgatory, for our prisoners homebound. We pray to the Lord. Lord, Loving and gracious God, we thank you for the gifts of the apostles. Continue to help us to build on this foundation with faith and with confidence and joy. We ask all this through Christ our Lord. Amen. Yes. Please be seated. Blessed are you, Lord God of our creation. To your goodness, we have received this bread to offer you food of the earth and broken human hands. It will become for us the bread of life. Bless you, God.
Blessed are you, Lord God of our creation. To your goodness we have received this wine to offer you. For the divine and work of human hands, it will become for us the spiritual drink. Pray, my sisters and brothers, that our sacrifice may be acceptable to God, our loving Father. As we venerate the perpetual glory of the holy apostles Simon and Jude, O Lord, we ask that you receive our prayers and lead us to worthy celebration of the sacred mysteries through Christ our Lord. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Lift up your heart. Lift up the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is, right and just. it is truly right and just our duty and our salvation always and everywhere to give you thanks. Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God, through Christ our Lord. For you have built your church to stand firm on our apostolic foundation, to be a lasting sign of your holiness on earth and offer all humanity your heavenly teaching. Therefore now, and for ages unending, with all the hosts and angels, we sing to you with all your, our hearts crying out as we acclaim. Holy, holy, holy Lord, God of hosts, heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the font of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, this gift, we pray, by sending out your spirit upon them like a dewfall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread and gave him thanks, broke it, and gave it to the disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice and once more giving thanks. He gave it to disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it. For this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of a new and eternal covenant which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith. When we eat this bread and drink this cup, we proclaim your death, O Lord, until you come again. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be guided into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity, together with Francis, our Pope, Michael Gerard, our Bishop, and all the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters, especially those souls in purgatory, who have fallen asleep in our hope to resurrection and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray. That will the blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, blessed Joseph, her spouse, with the blessed apostles, St. Simon, St. Jude, and all the saints that have pleased you throughout the ages, we may marry to be co-heirs to eternal life and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him and with him and in him, O God Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. With gratitude, thanksgiving, and confidence in our apostles and their intercession. Let us now pray. Pray for ourselves, for our country, for our world today, especially for our world leaders today, that they continue to help us to build on good foundation that 
we are living right now. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy, we might be always free from sin and safe from our distress, as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. The kingdom, the kingdom power. Lord Jesus Christ, said to your apostles, peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the fate of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. And with your spirit. Let us share with each other the sigh of peace. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. This is Jesus, the cornerstone of that foundation. Behold the Lamb of God, behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those who call to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter into my roof, but only say the word and my soul shall be. May the body and blood of Christ keep us safe for eternal life. Communion and the phone. Whoever loves me will keep my word, says the Lord, and my Father will love him, and we will come to him and make our home with him. Let us pray.
Having received the sacrament, O Lord, we humbly implore you in the Holy Spirit that what we do to honor the glorious passion of the apostles Simon and Jude may keep us ever in your love through Christ our Lord. I wanted to have a special blessing on us today. Is that okay? So just bow your head. And as you know, blessing of God is one for a lifetime. And so I'd like to not just bless you, but all the leaders today, especially in our own country right now. May the God who has granted you to stand firm on our apostolic foundations graciously bless you through the glorious marriage of the holy apostles, St. Simon and Jude. Amen. Amen. And may he who endowed you with the teaching and example of the apostles make you under their protection witnesses to the truth before all so that through the intercession of the apostles, you may inherit the eternal homeland, for by their teaching you possess firmness of faith. Amen. And may the blessing of Almighty God, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit come down on you and remain with you forever. Amen. And the message ended, let us go in peace. Thanks be God.